There's a new documentary by a Pittsburgh company taking a look yeah. at the workers who repair and restore bridges across the country, many of which are in bad shape. We've talked about that on our newscasts a lot. The film's called Bridge Brothers, and we're joined now by documentarian Matthew White, owner of Fourth Coast Productions in Pittsburgh. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. We're this, excited. You did it. It's it's uh, it's an hour and forty minute documentary, and it really takes you into the life of these people that restore large bridges and mm -hmm. keep them standing. And uh, it's really a uh, it's about the relationships of these crews, the men and women, mm -hmm. um, who who oftentimes work out of town from where they have their family and and home and everything. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, they'll sometimes they won't see their family for a couple months wow. because they have to go where the bridges are to repair them. But but these crews really, you know, are, they really do. They're kind of nobody really knows what they do because right. when you drive across the bridge, they're kind of hidden in what's called a containment, mm. which is where they wrap the bridge and they sandblast and repaint mm. and all that debris is in the containment, so it doesn't get in the environment, uh -huh. you know, or spill in the water or air. Sure. So kind of when you drive across the bridge, you never really even realize a lot of times what these guys are doing. <laughs> so uh -huh. someone dancing there. So I, I imagine you get a lot of the personality from these workers and you got to know them. Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what we were trying to, I wanted to try to capture everything from kind of as a, put the viewer in their perspective. So you, you join the crew, you kind of see what they see. I mean, we did a lot of POV camera stuff. Mm -hmm. So when they're up high on scaffolding, you know, we put a camera up on, the, okay. on their head, so there, sometimes w when we edit, you know, we'll go into of a shot where you're looking like down 400 feet or Get something. Their view. And because th that's what they do, and they walk, you know, there's one shot where the guy's walking, there's two little boards, and they're building the scaffolding around the Walt Whitman Tower, which is where we got permission to film on bridges down in Philly. And, um, you know, kind of put those shots where, you know, and people once in a while will say, you know, they'll look at the shot and go, oh, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I, it's too high for me. Right. You know, but... Did you get up there? I got up there and uh, I believe I was, uh, it was, uh, I was uneasy at first. <laughs> um, and uh, especially there's a shot where one guy, we, and, and it was shown there, where he's bouncing on yeah. what looks like fencing, yeah. like a trampoline. Uh -huh. So that's actually, it's like fencing and that's one of the platforms. And they put, they put these strips down, they have to tie them together. And, but when you walk on it, it sponges. And you know, you look right through it and there's nothing underneath. Yay. So that to me was the most intimidating. Wow. And I wow. was very uncomfortable when I first got on those. Um, you do get more used to it, and a lot of the crews say that the br these bridge uh, these bridge crews, as a lot of them say, when they first stepped on, they were uneasy. I, I bet. But they got used to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a big question for a short yeah. amount of time that we have left. Yeah. But you know, we've we've all heard about how a lot of our major bridges have a lot of big problems. This has to be mm -hmm. on the mind of these crews. Yeah, I mean, I think these crews. What I've noticed is, you know, I spent over a year with them, so I really got to know them. And, uh, and a lot of these guys, you know, they'll call me on the phone or we talk on the phone still. Um, and uh, these guys do it as a job. And when you're there doing it as a job, I mean, the job is grueling. Right. I mean, there's no glamour about it. Right. And, but, what, what in, but in essence, the reality is these guys are, what they do is extremely important because mm -hmm. basically every bridge in the country, whether it's a large bridge or small, if it didn't have these crews going and restoring them, they would all rust and eventually collapse. Yeah. Right. So we are running uh, out of time, so we uh, want to let people know where they can find the uh, the documentary. So if you so basically, it's available uh, for streaming on Amazon, iTunes, and of course, you can as you can see here, you can also buy the Blu-ray DVD of it. Um, and there's a Facebook page, Bridge Brothers, you know, TV show where we do updates. Awesome. And everything. All right. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much you. for stopping by.